Today I'm going to be covering some of the comments for my video, what is the rarest gun in Destiny? I'm going to look at the most common comments of what people thought should have been on the list and discuss whether or not I believe that they are rare or not. Let's get started. The most common gun people commented on was the Fate of All Fools. If you don't know the Fate of All Fools, it was a gun in Destiny, year one which only one person obtained. I won't go into the whole story of why this one person was given the weapon, but basically it was given to him directly by Bungie themselves. Now this gun may sound extremely rare, knowing that only one person has it, but that's not what I believe rare means. For a gun to be rare at all, it had to have been obtainable at any point during Destiny's life cycle, which this gun was not. There was absolutely no way of getting this weapon at any point since Destiny's release. Theoretically speaking, yes, this is the rarest gun in Destiny due to only one person having it, but hypothetically, this gun doesn't even exist in Destiny. Moving on. Another gun people talked about a lot was the Hopscotch Pilgrim. The Hopscotch Pilgrim was a legendary pulse rifle that would drop from the level 28 Prison of Elders or Dragon Strikes inside of Destiny, the House of Wolves expansion. I've heard about and read many horror stories of people struggling to get this gun, but is it really as rare as people make it out to be? Well, it has the same chance to drop as any other legendary reward inside Prison of Elders and his Dragon Strikes. For a legendary to draw from these activities is estimated to be about a 10% chance. I believe this gun falls under the same category as the Galahorn. It's pretty rare and will take a while to obtain, but it has the same drop chance as any other legendary inside those activities, kind of like how the Galahorn has the same chance to drop as all the other exotics. The reason people consider it to be rare is because it's a great weapon so people notice its absence, just like the Galahorn in year one. The Shadow Price. This was a legendary auto rifle that could be bought from the Vanguard vendor between the release of Destiny and the release of the Dark Below DLC. Basically, it's not too rare. At one point in Destiny, everyone had one. Some people kept the gun due to novelty reasons, most people deleted it because the Dark Below weapons were stronger. Basically, if we compare this to the Supremacy, the Shadow Price was able to be bought for 3 months, while the Supremacy was able to be found for 3 weeks. Both weapons became weak once the Dark Below was released, so the only difference between the rarity in these two guns is that the Supremacy was available for a fourth of the time of the Shadow Price. The Dry Rot 32 was a weapon I saw once or twice in the comments section. This weapon has the exact same rarity as the Hopscotch Pilgrim. It was available from Prison of Elders level 28 and Dragon Strikes inside the House of Wolves DLC. Nothing more to say about it since we basically covered it when I went over the Hopscotch Pilgrim. Now the next few weapons that I'm about to talk about are in fact more rare than the Supremacy. These weapons are the Her Right Hand, Vesta Noblis, and the Merciless. These three weapons are rare weapons that were only available during the Queen's Wrath event in September of 2014. These weapons were able to be purchased from the Queen's Emissary for 2,000 Glimmer and a requirement of rank 2 with the Queen's Wrath. The reason these weapons are far more rare than the Supremacy or any other weapon in the game is because next to no one bought them. They had a maximum damage of 242. At the time, the max damage was 300. Queen's bounties were set at a difficulty that required weapons that had at least 242 damage. So as you can see, why would anyone buy these rare weapons when the weapons that they had at the time to even complete the activity were stronger than the ones that the activity rewarded you with? No one I knew bought these weapons. They were laughed at and mocked by the community. I believe that these three rare weapons are in fact the rarest guns in Destiny. If you have any of them, please let me know. Now, some people suggested that white weapons were the rarest guns in Destiny, because once you're close to max level, you can't even get them anymore. But if you want white weapons, you can literally just start a new character and grab them. I did that exact thing in order to have white weapons of every weapon class. Not rare in the slightest. Now the last gun I'm going to be talking about is the Kvostov. I got a surprising amount of comments saying that this is the rarest weapon in Destiny. It's not. Sorry to burst your bubble, a surprising number of people actually keep this gun in their vault because it's the first gun you get. And even if you did delete it, once again, you can just make a new character, play for 3 minutes, and there you go. You got yourself the Kvostov. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any more suggestions for rare weapons in Destiny, leave them in the comment section below, and maybe I'll consider making a part 3 to this video. Take care, and happy holidays.